Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode six of Heavens of Sorcery. And I expanded my base some more. That's what I do. And I've got farms going up here now, so I shouldn't be like lacking for well, vegetables anyway. I almost had fruits and vegetables, but uh well I do have uh the pumpkins finally grew. I didn't have enough pumpkin seeds to do two rows like I wanted to, so I was was for a bit patiently waiting until they uh, they grew and they waited until I wasn't here and grew the wrong way. At least that one did. So, we'll grab a hoe, I guess. And I did another dungeon run off camera and I got two more of the other world cores, which is quite awesome. And four lapis. So I actually. Let's see, let's get in here before something happens. It's literally just one seed short, too. But I was able to actually get a uh, level 30 enchant on a, well, Amethyst pick. Efficiency 3, Silk Touch. Not as good as I was hoping. But, I mean, not terrible, either. Why would you equip that? No, just, just no. Although it looks kind of hilarious with the night vision goggles, so. Ah, uh, don't do that. Yeah, see, one short now. And I have grapes. Got some grape seeds from a dungeon run, so I decided to set that up here. It kind of fills the farm out nicely. So I've got a few rows of melons here, and they can grow to the left and then to the right here with the pumpkins here left and right and that way you don't have two stems attaching to the same you know block and then i decided to put grapes in the middle because well like what else can i put in a single block or a single you know block width and that was kind of the only thing actually and then over here i've got this is like the cuisine uh food started so far these are the ones i've got anyway uh, going through the book a little bit, it sounds like there's more. I just haven't seen them yet. Which, yeah, I'm not surprised. I have not done much for my storage, though. I mean, yeah. I've... Actually, that's yeah, not bad. That's a uh, bunch and a half. I guess you can go there, and then I've started using a shulker box. Here's Overflow. And that one as well. So I went to the Misty World again too, and 1,800 blocks later, I finally come across some trees. So I brought back some uh, Arcaria wood and Umbrella tree wood. It turns out these are the only ones you can use around up here, Daisy. It's just the Misty World woods, which yeah, it's a bit of a uh, little bit of a bummer there, I guess. Well, let's see, I got some food. Oh, I. Uh, found an infinity book, so I repaired the Power 3 Unbreaking 3 punch bow I had, and then threw infinity on it. it. cost me like five levels or something like that. I mean, it's not bad at all. Speaking of which, my experience is messed up again. It happens when you go between dimensions a few times. But I'm thinking that, uh... Let's go ahead and make another Amethyst pick. Just as regular work pick anyway. But let's go to the, uh, the, the underground. Let's go see what that's like. There were uh, like basically three kinds of mobs that I saw in there. One of which I can't do anything about without magic. So. All right, is it? Oh, okay, nice. Uh... Well, there's fairies. That's one of the three mobs, anyway. And I'm looking at this going, and there's unicorns. And there's uh, some sort of ghost or wraith or something. Uh, yeah. This is how you get back to the overworld. Should, uh, I don't think I need to create an island. Oh, what was it? Slash Island. 
home. Thank you. All right, um, blocks. I uh, just bring like 160 cobble. That should do it, right? I do like the enhanced uh, stack sizes in this pack. That is rather nice. Wish it was a more common feature, honestly. Oh yeah, and unicorns can fly. Shooting over or something? Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Spirit White. That's the kind of thing that you, you can't do anything about either. It's the thing you need magic for. So, well, that took no time at all for it to find me. I'm going to have to do the Island Home thing again, aren't I? Yep. Sends me back to world spawn, not my actual spawn point, so. Right, so maybe I should be looking into Bellaporter's Cortex, maybe? I obsessed to become a wizard. Spell creation. Uh, step where you actually make your spells. You're finally ready to start off. Make yourself a magician work table and place it down. Once you open it up, you'll see several things. Okay, work table, huh? Uh, nope. No. Yes. Wisdom, wood, plank, slab, and a book. Um, let's see. And then, did I have any books left over? Yes, I did. Pretty certain I did. I couldn't remember exactly where I tucked him away at, though. Come on. Flop out. Thank you. And how about for now? Go right here. Well, hello. Look at that. Okay. Let's go back to the book now. Okay. Uh, it is very important that you carry this codex in your inventory when making a spell. I'll tell you why in a bit. Top left, you'll see three sidebars. The top left sidebar is for shape components. Control how your spell will be cast. If you want it to be cast as a beam, as a projectile upon smacking something, as a zone, etc. Okay. The right of the shapes of the different effect components. These control what your spell actually does. You want a lightning spell, the, a time slowing spell, slippery, gravity well, so on and so forth. Okay. Beneath the shapes of the event components. Uh, these filter out everything else. For example, when you run a projectile spell, it will run on entities and or blocks regardless. With an event component, may be able to affect only entities, for example. Okay. Uh, to make your first spell, drag a shape component to the center of the paper in the center. Then drag an effect component to the center. Then hold down, right click, and drag from the shape component to the effect component on your paper. Okay, you see a connecting line. Line's direction matters. The connecting in reverse won't work because doing it like this tells your spell that it will first run a projectile, projectile shape. Then when that projectile shape hits and needs to run its effect, it will run the effect you pass it into. The opposite is an effect shape that doesn't know how to actually start so it fizzles out. Okay, makes sense, I guess. Well, it's very weak at its base. You can upgrade the cost of more mana or burnout. Okay, you want to add more range. But can, you can see modifiers you can apply, okay. That's by the spell. Click the save button in the top right. I'll save your spell's recipe into this codex. You'll see a new bookmark in the codex with the recipe of the spell you want to create. Okay. All right, makes sense then. When you saved your spell, check the spell recipe bookmark. You see a list of items you need to gather and throw into a crafting plate in order. Okay. Fill your mana battery up with mana, and then throw your knocker pearl into the crafting plate. Finally, wait for your spell to craft for a minute. Be created with an explosion of mana around the knocker pearl sitting at the center of the plate. You now have a spell infused pearl at your disposal. Craft it with an empty staff to mount it, and you can use your staff to cast your spell. 
All right, interesting. So we have self-touch zone projectile. Let's go, I guess, projectile. Effect. Grace leaf illumination. Like two gravity wells or something? Anti-gravity well and gravity well, okay. Place phase, reinforcement shatter, sonic scream, telekinesis, suffocate, substitute, thrive, time slow, vanish, zoom. Uh let's try lightning, I guess. Sneak for info. Sneak and then control and oh look at that. Okay. Ding. All right, cool. And I click this. Um, go ahead and give us more power, I guess. I mean, go ahead and give it a save. I mean, it's not all that bad, actually. It's kind of, it's pretty intuitive once you actually get to it. Well, structure, one lightning, okay. There we go. I need blaze quartz, nether quartz, red quartz, devil dust, knocker pearl. Wow. So blaze quartz is blaze powder and nether quartz. Of course it is. Uh, I've got the nether quartz. I've got blaze. Okay. I think red quartz is kind of the same with just redstone instead, isn't it? Yep, red quartz. Hey, what do you know? I mean, nether wart, two blaze. So, <clears throat> nether wart, two blaze, regular quartz. So these guys can go away. A regular quartz. Uh, devil dust. And then the pearl I want to use, which is probably, um, I've got two types of potent. I've got slightly underdone and slightly overdone potent. All right, structures. Okay. All right. So crafting plate, right? Wizardry crafting plate. Wisdom wood pigmented planks. Ah, wisdom wood pigmented planks. Clay. All right, and wisdom wood. So, clay, which I'm actually getting kind of low on. Get those, and I need a golden nugget. There we go. All right, so crafting plate. Well, yeah, you're a little particular about what goes where, aren't you? Is there like an index or something now? How about crafting plate? Uh, the core of the crafting altar holds the ingredients uh, needed to create your spell and infuses them with an acro pearl, okay. Uh, see step four for a full explanation of how structure works. That's like all it shows you. Oh, there's a search function there. Okay. So structure. Crafting altar. Okay. It is where you will follow the spell recipes, cast them off with a knocker pearl, create a pearl capable. Da -da -da -da. Very close by the mana battery structure. Okay, so, uh, yeah. A little more in-depth than I thought at first. Battery's been fed with mana. The orbs inside the altar structure will fill up with the crafting... will fill up the crafting plate. All right. Is there, like, a rotate? Yeah, there is. Okay. Materials. A lot of quartz. Lots of wisdom wood. Oh, that's, uh... 
Oh, that's going to be fun now, isn't it? So I'm thinking for now, I'm holding a shift the whole time, I too. It's like the fourth time I've gone off the edge. And there we go. It doesn't really kill you, but it does hurt quite a bit. Is it because of that block there? I don't know. There. There's my visualization that I was wanting. Okay, I do want it up a block, so what I can do is I poke my head through ghost blocks, take this one out. The extra was just to make sure I didn't lose it into the void. That wasn't horrible to make, but I'd, I'd rather not if I don't have to. Right. So, these are all the things I have to make now. Also, I need four quartz stairs, four slabs, nine blocks, four orb holders, planks, stairs, logs. Yeah, so. Get like 30. Make some wisdom wood here. And I love how it forgets where you were. As soon as you close the book. But it remembers the bookmark without a problem. So that is basically 12 stairs. 12, okay. So... First things first, I have to get more of the, the fancy ornate wood. Helps if you actually have the uh, gold nugget on you at the time, too. I need 12 stairs. Well, I get 16, so. Did I grab any blocks? I did, okay, cool. There, slab, I need three more blocks of quartz. So that's just 12 quartz now. Like I can kind of see what goes where. I mean, it's going to be a uh, fun little structure to build, that's for certain. And that stairs go there. Right. I should probably extend... End. Is that kind of strange there, didn't I? Uh, the platform out of it. I'm going to have to place these logs down, so I need to actually have something to place them onto. Oh, you're one of those too, where if I try to place a block through you. I couldn't scroll past my uh my bow. There he goes. Nah, you're gonna work. Okay. Oh, it's because that block's actually there. Never mind. Never mind, these are true ghost blocks. Right, so that's mostly what it looks like, except for the orb holders. So, these guys. I need four of them. I have... Okay. Three pigmented planks left. Alright, well, I needed... to do uh, more gold nuggets up anyway, so... There you go. 
Now, what else one there? Just five planks each. That's like another 20 planks. And four. Phantom made structured spellcraft. And hey, I got effects here. Looks like we are good to go. Except for one thing. Apparently, I also need like a mana battery. Mana battery is a massive reservoir of mana. Any wizard will quickly learn that this is the center of your powers. Core can absorb mana far more efficiently than any other method of storage to fill it. That mana orbs on the pillars in its structure will discharge its power to mana orbs outside the battery's pillars. Like for automatic and efficient mana transfer out of the battery. You know that once you've placed the mana battery block down, you'll see red dots highlighting where blocks of the structures are going to be. Shift right click the block to destroy or display a hologram of the structure itself. Adjust the battery's position as you please. Once finished structure, no red dots should be flashing. Technically not required, you could manually replace emptied mana orbs in your other structures to feed them mana, but you'll quickly find that the task is very annoying and tedious to do. As annoying and tedious as this is, though. Alright, so I took the time to watch a buddy live stream and build the mana battery. Which is honestly not terrible, but it was a lot more resources that went into it. So let's go ahead and go back to here now. And... Gather and throw in the crafting plate in order. Okay. So, boom. Boom, boom. And then... Well, something's happening. That was weird. That might have been the thing it was talking about. Projectile lightning. And then I just need a staff, was it? Like an empty staff. Three gold nuggets and wisdom wood planks. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. Uh, let's see. There we go. And. Yeah, I'm going to have to make more nuggets up. Okay. Staff, and then I, what, I just crapped them together. Projectile 18 out of 24, lightning 55 out of 77. And I get back an Apex Knacker Pearl. Really? That was... Oh, that was probably for the uh, the quest. I totally forgot that it might be a quest. Uh, Caster's Crux, was that it? No, that's that one. Okay. Um, Shoot and Loot Mistborn, Pearl Perfusion... Was it spellbound? Yeah, it must yeah, it was spellbound. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And it gives me an apex pearl. Or well, a random it looks like maybe a random one. Because it is shifting through. Well, that's kind of weird. It's got like a circle around it. Oh, it's because I have no mana right now. Like, why isn't why, why can I not do the thing? Because I still has my uh, my night vision on. All right, and then I need to go through and maybe a mana booster light. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner now I have what looks to be mana. Oh. I do like that, uh, let's grab a couple of these. I do like how the, that looks. And I guess I'm with that away. And I was also killing time by doing more iron and stuff, so. And reading up on how to, you know, make food with cuisine. And it, uh, it promises to be interesting.
So first of all, let's see if this jerk is still here. And if he is, then maybe I get some target practice. Yeah, he's still here. Well, that was a... Uh, does not seem to be affecting him at all, though, does it? So yeah, it looks like the top bar is mana, the bottom bar is burnout. Yeah, no, this spell is not... not a good spell for him. Oop, oh well. I was getting ready to leave anyway, so... Oh, frick. There we go. Went into a creative world to test a few things out, too. Oop, all right. So, let's see. Yeah, I got all that wonderful stuff coming back. Put the empty away, I guess. Do the empties not stack either? Oh, they don't. Look at that. All right, well, let's uh, go back here. Dimensional dossier, Underworld. Spirit White. Is it only vulnerable to magic damage such as dealt by spells or a unicorn horn dagger? Yeah, that was of like no help at all, really. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try a different one and whatnot and see if I can maybe find something that'll take that thing out. But uh, I think in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And until next time, the sign signing out. Have fun.